project management frameworks are various, and as such, the majority can be used in all sorts of industries and business settings. However, if you need a project management framework specialized for software development, you should turn to Extreme Programming or XP. How to develop software. Developing software is a simple process. In the words of Kent Beck, the creator of XP himself, listening, testing, coding, designing. That's all there is to software. Anyone who tells you different is selling something. XP belongs to the Agile framework and is very similar to Scrum. In fact, we have a video on Scrum you can check out on our channel. One very important distinction between the two. Scrum focuses on teamwork, whereas XP focuses on the code. Kent Beck developed XP in the late 1990s. The idea behind it is to constantly change the code, instead of leaving it alone once it is written and only going back for minor tweaks and bug fixes. Instead, XP encourages the team to work on the code, even rewrite it completely if need be. If you need help with the following, organizing projects, developing software, increasing developers' productivity, or collaborating on developing code, you should use XP. It's the framework if you're in the software development industry. It will improve five important aspects of your software management and give the values of communication, simplicity, feedback, respect, and courage to the software development process. In other words, these five values serve to improve the communication of your devs with your clients, ensure the code is clean and simple, provide feedback for the team from day one, devs will gain respect for their work, and respond with courage to any requirements for change in the code. There are five rules for using extreme programming, and those are planning, managing, designing, coding, testing. In the planning stage, look at the user stories, business value, and the stage of development you're currently in to make sure the project is fit for XP. If you decide to continue with the project, you must create a plan and set a realistic pace and deadlines. In the managing phase, you are managing the work of your devs on the project. It's especially convenient if everyone is in the same room, but remote teams can also achieve this using software such as Active Collab that allows them to collaborate even when working remotely. Managing a project consists of daily stand-ups, but also a weekly and quarterly cycle. XP's goal is to focus on the current work, but also on flexibility and collaboration. The next step is to focus on designing, and one especially useful strategy is CRC, Class, Responsibilities, Collaborators, which is often used to anticipate problems and simulate the process. In this phase, it is important to look for potential bottlenecks, constraints, and risks. Moving on to the coding phase, the devs make sure the code meets all the standards and requirements. Developers work together in pairs simultaneously, add new code, and immediately test it. Working in pairs on the same computer ensures that double focus on the code produces the highest quality code. Also, the code is a brainchild of the dev team as a collective, and as such can be changed at any time by any team member. The final phase is testing. The code must pass the tests before it is made available to users. If some bugs are found, they are fixed in this stage. Once the code is released, customers' reviews will show if the user stories were translated well to the final product. XP, at its heart, is focused on code collaboration. That is achieved through paired programming, collective code ownership, cross-functional teams, daily stand-ups, and of course, the customer, who is always available during the development. But XP is not for everyone. As we mentioned, it works best for software development, but even then, it can have some drawbacks. It's hard to put all your devs in one room, and not everyone likes to work in pairs. It has a complex set of rules everyone should adhere to. It leaves little to no room for mistakes, and focusing on computer problems can sometimes make you blindsided to the human usability aspect. Let us know how you like this video in the comments, subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. That's all there it is. Ah. Kent Beck developed XP in the light. Mm -mm -mm.
that allows them to collaborate even when we're... 